Good morning, evening, afternoon, I'm Tittlecat. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Plot Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. The second part of the trilogy in the first case. Previously, I was doing something with the muffler. I think. And he is very upset about something. And I don't know what it is. And that's where we left off. Me generally confused as per usual. So let's continue. This, this is unacceptable. Hmm. It seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh. Ah, uh, or excuse me, knock knock? Who's there? What's with this guy? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey! The temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Who on earth is he? Who is he? Did I miss something? Ah, it's you. Am I supposed to know who you is? Oh, oh, he he he. Sorry. I'm late, Edgy. The roads were packed. It's just me. Long time no see, eh, Edgy? How you been? Swim much these days? Uh, hello, hello? Aji? Aji, not Jaji? Aji? Okay. Uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, Aji, my boy. You have to make. Time to relax. Uh, yes, yes, in indeed. Aji seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? Aha! So you're right, oh? The attorney, I've heard good things about you, son. Uh, uh, thanks? So sorry about our little worthy giving you all the trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime, Jolly. I... Little worthy? Mr. Wright. You don't know the district chief of police? Ch chief of police? He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. Names? Gant? Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. He just thought I'd, I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that my sister's muffler. I did Maya's voice again. So, Miss Star, 
wasn't just seeing things. No, she wasn't. Probably. Seemed like not. But, like... Why, why would, would that, like, I assume that's what was in there, because it looked like cloth, but whatever. Also, where did she get that one from? She's wearing that one. Did she just have, like, a closet full of red scarves? When the crime occurred... <clears throat> Whose voice is that? It's not mine. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But, to think that it was stuffed into the exhaust pipe... Ooh, don't know whose voice that is. A little worthy scar... Oh, no less. No? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. W what? What's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Chief. What kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth. How could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? No, no, wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to need... I'm telling you to wait! Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature is there. Miles Edgeworth? Th th that's not fair. On that day of the crime, I, I had your head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clear up this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edwards at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> the court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Yes? Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at the blade of this handle knife. The blade? Your honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me? I wonder. Yes, well, I think all you have to do is put that, pull that, push that, Switch and cuts your hand off. If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yes, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at people anymore. And how would we do our job? We couldn't hit paper with our hand. We couldn't slam it on a desk. We couldn't do this? We couldn't point? Oh, our, 
How could we possibly be lawyers if we can't do those things? Come on, just hurry up and open it. Okay, game. Do it then. Sure. This is not what I thought was going to happen. Ah, don't scare me like that! I'm the one who's scared! Look at this knife blade! The tip is broken off! And this dark red... Uh, this dark red stain. Blood? Switchblade knife found at the crime scene. Weapon wrapped in the defendant's muffler. Small tag attached. Switchblade knife added to court record. This does not excuse the action of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Oh. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Gold Goodman, that was with Goldman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess! The time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so... I can't talk much about it. There... There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's... Hush, hush. Information, a G. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait a second. You said 5.15. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order, order, order. Anyway. We at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? Except for all of the people currently in the room. That's a pretty big audience. One of them said, Mommy, is it true? So I assume some of them are children. I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. The chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course.
I like to I have so many voices in this game that I can't find my own voice. I like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Excuse me, special? Mm-hmm. Hard to come by this particular life anywhere else. Um... Might that special thing be the little tag? Oh, sorry, right Oh, But I can't say that now. Not that. We've established... The knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something. A muffler. This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on in that department. Can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Raito. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine that knife while we can, right? Hmm. Evidence that links this knife to Detective Goodman. I think perhaps the piece are falling into place. I should try presenting a piece of evidence that has stumped that that's had me stumped all this time. So, how were things down at the department? Okay. So. There's a small tag. Oh, there's a small tag in this knife. It says SL92. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure, but it reminds me of a similar code. DL6, maybe it's a case number? That's weird. What? I don't remember where, but I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what's written on this tag. It wasn't that long ago either. Maybe I should check the court records again. Seeing if it's gonna say anything else. If it's upside down, right?
SL SL All the other things. I have. I'm guessing it's the note. Something happened at the police department too, huh? You got a good look in your eyes, there, right, my boy? Sharp, hungry, like the wolf. So something did happen, and why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy. What a with What with Lana's case and no. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's fact. That's a fact. Surprise. That's a fact. Period. Surprising, isn't it, Uji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator. Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But... There's a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case? Oh, good one! Let's get sharp. Okay. Here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Where's... Where's the victim's... Where the victim was found? How the victim was killed? When the victim died? How the victim was killed? Well, how was the detective killed? Because, like, is this an... Are, were they both stabbed? How was he killed? No. That's an interesting part. It was what we in the force call... Stabbing. With a knife. Whoa! Stabbing! I couldn't possibly understand what that's a code for. A knife? That's exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit! We're cooking now. But you know... That's not the only thing that was exactly the same. What do you mean? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. It seems like I'm going to have to press this a bit harder. Because they told me the time of the crime, so I figured that wasn't an important thing to ask. Five? Five fifteen? But that... That's when Detective Goodman was... We established this, Phoenix. But okay. That's when Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office. What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place? 
and a murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Rebel, 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 rebel. Coincidence? This is just my gut feeling, but I'd say there's a 0.001% chance of that happening. Chief Gaunt, please tell us more about that incident. How can you say there's no connection? How? Because I'm the chief of police. I can just say anything I please, Rhino. You understand. Try to understand, Rhino. <laughs> well, if you can prove there's a connection, more power to you. Maybe there is something that ties the two murders together. Whatever it is, I better find it and get to the bottom of this. Two detectives were killed at 5.15, one at the prosecutor's office, and one at the police detect department center. <laughs> that can't be a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. Okay, the knife is special. This is SL9, but it's upside down. I'm just, I can't remember which part of it is. Unless there's evidence. Okay. Uh. Present. Oh. Not press. Do I do I show the knife? I guess I should show the note. Wait a second. Ah, at last, an honest-to-goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with the with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha! Uh -huh. An honest-to-goodness. What do you mean from Archie? Oh, this is great. See, so just like watch these for fun. Look at the tag of this knife. It reads SL knife. 
And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm. What's this? Six minus... Oh, six minus seven S twelve slash two. No, no. Your honor, it's upside down. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, he is shocked. Well, um, we will see where this gets us in the next episode. Hopefully, somewhere. I was very confused when this dude just comes up and his being that is him, the police guy. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I genuinely thought I missed something. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see what this memo gets us in the, till, in the next episode. Until then, see you next time.